Hi everybody, Erin um, here, Give Me Yarn 418 and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what Kristen got me for Christmas. I had a very yarny Christmas. Yeah, that's great. Um, so I don't know what to start with. Um, first I guess I'll start with this. She got me all of this stuff except for one can be found on nitpicks.com. I have a, I love project bags. Um, I have a lot of project bags, and Kristen really pokes fun at me for it, but she got me a project bag, and I'm super happy about it. It's um, a tote bag, and it has a little sheep on it that says, Knit Happy, and it has one, two, three pockets on the outside and one big pocket on the inside, so it's really cute. I really like it, and I already have a project in there. The next thing she got me, you cannot purchase at Knit Picks. Um, I needed a set of sock blockers. I have some plastic ones from Knit Picks, but I really wanted a set of wooden ones, um, I thought with sheep on it, but then I found these and I knew that I didn't want sheep. So I got Chihuahua sock blockers, and they're wooden and they're just really nice. They're handmade, and I love them, and they came on Christmas Eve so it was awesome because I didn't think they would come until after Christmas I also got um, by Melissa Leapman Stash Buster Knits because this year I've decided that after January 1st I oh, am going on a yarn diet I have a lot of yarn and I've started to go through to find some to donate and to um, map out how I'm going to knit slash crochet my stash. I hope to, I don't have a goal yet, but I want to get it significantly down. Um, so I figured this book would help and Kristen happened to buy it for me so that worked out great. Um, the next thing she got me was she got me two packages of Knit Picks locking stitch markers, which are great for crochet. Um, I have I have the non-locking ones, just the circular ones, um, but she can't use those on crochet, so or to mark the right side. So she got me two packages of those, which was great because I really, really, really needed those. She also got me. Uh, I love sheep. She got me a needle gauge with a sheepy on it, which I really like. And she got me a chart, a chart keeper with a sheep on it. And on the back, there's two itty bitty, itty bitty magnets. So what I've decided is I'm going to take a bit of super glue and put it on there, and then. Um, just put a piece of grow grain ribbon on it. So one I don't lose them because I lose everything and Two so my dogs don't get at them because if they swallowed a magnet that would be really bad The next thing I got was she got me two packages of these these are t Gift tags for when you make something for somebody and on the back. It's really cool because you can write what type of fiber it is so if it's wool or acrylic and then you can differentiate the care instructions which is awesome awesome I don't know why I don't know how we ever lived without these but they're really cute on the front this one says I'll hold up one and I'll read the other one it says I made this especially for you even if you don't like it please act like you do how perfect is that and then just a to and from and there was three of each of these two in a package and she got me two packages so and this one says yes I did make it and no you can't return it so that's great I love them I uh, they made me smile a lot a lot a lot a lot and last but not least Kristen knows I was going on a yarn diet which starts on January 1st so she said that of course she had to get me yarn so she got me and I'm doing a lot of socks right now. I love socks. I love knit socks, and they're kind of fun to make and mindless, um, but interesting enough that at the same time I love to make them. So 
She got me two skeins of the Knit Picks Felici, I think that's how you say it, Sport, in Dockside. Oop. And these are self-striping yarns, which self-striping yarns just make everything more fun because you, you, it just is always changing. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing a large project, which socks, although they're small, are a very large project because if you consider every round has about, well, I do 20, 20, so 56 stitches around for a sport weight. Um... And then you do over a hundred rounds, so that's a lot of stitches. So when the colors change every once in a while, it kind of keeps it more interesting. And the last thing I got was more yarn. Was again Knit Picks Felici Sport, and this is in color Recess. And again, this is self striping, and I will use this to make socks. Um, so I'm so excited. Uh, it was a great Christmas. Kristen and I um, were home for the day, just her and I and the pups. And we made dinner and um, her aunt came to, to eat with us, which was nice. And then we had a quiet evening. And then today we went to her parents' house. Her parents both work in healthcare. We went to her parents' house and we had dinner and exchanged gifts with her nieces and it was really exciting to see them open everything. So that's all I have. Have a great night. Bye-bye.